Hello everyone, and welcome to another French Fried Trains Minecraft Locomotive Tutorial. Today, we're going to be building this Genesee in Wyoming SD50. So let's get right into the build here. So as usual, our first step is to take out a dark oak stair for the rear coupler, and we'll attach that up. Underneath it, we'll put a sideways dark oak fence gate, and also a fence gate on either side of the coupler. Then, on the next block down, in front of the coupler here, we need to get three yellow concrete coming across the middle, and then an oak slab on each side, like that. Then five yellow concrete across the top, behind it a three block tall T-shape of yellow concrete and an end right on bottom above each rail. In front of that, we're gonna do a five by three of yellow concrete coming out to each side of the tracks here. Then we're gonna put three oak slabs coming up here for stairs, three across this top middle, and three coming up in this gap for the stairs on this side. Then we're gonna skip in front of this here, skip one block forward, get a netherite on each rail, with an end rod between them to be the wheels and axles. Then on the upper hip box, we're gonna do two rows of polished deep slate slabs, five wide. Then another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle, and another two rows of polished deep slate slabs, five wide, on the upper hip box. Then a final set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here, and into the ends of the wheels down here. Then on this second layer, we'll fill the top middle three with polished black stone block down the length of the truck. We're gonna come out one block past the fence gates on this end. Then we're gonna come underneath here, three blocks across the bottom middle. Coming off the bottom block, we're gonna do a row of upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs. And that's gonna be 15 blocks long in total. Once you have 15 blocks, put three polished black stone across here and do the same thing on this side. A row of upside down, outward facing, polished black stone stairs, 15 blocks along on this side, and that'll frame in the bottom of our fuel tank here. Then we'll continue filling this top middle three on the second layer with polished black stone down the length of the fuel tank here. We'll stop at the end of the fuel tank for now. Then we'll do our next set of wheels, so skip a block forward from this down on the rails, another right on each rail with an end rod axle. Then two rows of polished deep slate slabs, five wide, on the upper hip box. Another set of another right wheels with an end rod axle, and another two rows of polished deep slate slabs, five wide, on the upper hip box. Then a final set of another right wheels with an end rod axle. Open dark oak fence gates into the ends of the wheels here and also into the ends of the wheels down at this end here. Then we'll continue filling the top middle three with polished black stone down the length of this truck on the second layer. Stop above the fence gates. In front of it, we're gonna make a five by three of yellow concrete coming out to each side of the tracks. In front of that, a T-shape in the middle and an end rod on bottom above each rail. In front of that, we're gonna do three yellow concrete across the bottom middle and an upside down oak stair facing outward on either side. Then five yellow concrete above this. Then three oak slabs on the top middle, three oak slabs coming up this side gap for stairs and three oak slabs coming up this side gap. Then take out a dark oak stair, turn around and stack it up to the second middle block, delete the one we used for placement. Under this coupler, put a sideways dark oak fence gate and also a dark oak fence gate on either side of it. Then we're gonna come down to this back end and put a dark oak button on each of these outside edges. Then we're gonna come through on the sides of the trucks, everywhere there's a wheel, put a hopper in front of it. Same thing here. Then we'll do the other side. 
hoppers in front of these wheels and hoppers in front of these wheels. Then we're going to go back through and above each of the hoppers, we're going to put a single polished deep slate slab. Same thing here. Then we do the other side, slabs above these three hoppers, and then slabs above these three hoppers. Then my front end is facing the void out here, so come to the front end of the fuel tank. On the side here, we're going to put a skeleton skull, a crimson button, then turn and put a sideways crimson sign. Do the same thing here, so a skeleton skull, a crimson button, a sideways crimson sign. On this side right here, put a bell. Then we'll skip one block behind the sign and do a full row of sideways anvils up here for an air tank. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, skip a block behind the sign and a full row of sideways anvils for an air tank on this side. Then we're gonna take out a chain, come up here, and a chain in this gap on the second layer, and a chain on this side. Then we'll come back here, one here, one here. Turn around, come back here, one here, one here, and one here. Next, we're gonna take out yellow concrete, come up here on this third layer, and we're gonna fill it in five wide, end to end, with yellow concrete. Next, we're gonna come on top of the front end here, on the third block back in the middle, and we're gonna make a column of three orange concrete. Then, we'll come over here, on this side, a three by three of orange concrete, on this side, three across the bottom, and then a two by two right here, and put a door here. Then right here, we're gonna do a row of six orange shulker boxes. Same thing, six orange shulker boxes on this side. Then starting from the back above the shulker boxes, a row of four orange concrete. Same thing over here, a row of four orange concrete above the back four shulker boxes. Then, above that, we're going to do a second row of four orange concrete on each side here. Above that, orange concrete in each of these four corners. And two gray stained glass panes on either side. Across the front, a gray stained glass block on each side and an orange concrete in the middle. Above that, we're going to do a T-shape of orange concrete on the front here and fill the rest of this cab roof with a 3x3 three three of black wool. Then on the outside edge, we're going to put four outward facing polished black stone stairs on either side of the top of the cab here. Now come behind the cab here on this engineer side, two orange concrete right here. On the other side, four orange concrete. Then, we're going to put a door right here, three orange concrete across the top. Then behind it, we're going to come up and over with orange concrete again, across the top and up this side, just like that. Then here, a reverse L shape of orange concrete, so there's stairs to get to that door. Then behind this, on the bottom of each side, we'll come back with four orange concrete on each side. At the back of it, raise it up, another two orange concrete on each side here. In the center piece, we're gonna do a three by three of cobble deep slate. Then an anvil in the center on top of it. Then we'll put an orange concrete in this center hole here and a polished blackstone slab on the upper hip box. Then get an orange concrete here and a polished blackstone slab there. Then we're going to put two orange shulker boxes on each side of this cobble deep slate. And same thing here, two orange shulker boxes on each side. 
Then we'll put two temporary blocks in here and we're gonna close two oak trap doors on them. Then we're gonna delete those temporary blocks out of there so there's a gap of space. Do the same thing here. Put in two temporary blocks and close two trap doors. Delete the temporary block so there's a gap of space behind the trap doors. Then up here, an orange concrete on each side of the back. And on the sides of this section, we're gonna put three iron bars. Same thing over here, three iron bars. Then we're gonna come up above here, put three cobbled deep slate on the top center, three orange shulker boxes on the sides of it. Then we're gonna grab an iron trap door, come up here, we're gonna put an oak trap door in the middle and surround it with a plus shape of iron trap doors to make a fan up here. Then behind this section, we're gonna do another three by four of orange concrete on each side. So back three and up four. Same thing over there. Up here on each side, we're gonna put three polished basalt with the pattern going vertical, three orange concrete in the center, and a three by three of smooth red sandstone slabs above it. Then we'll do two more columns of four coming back on each side here. Then three orange concrete across here and surround it like this, leaving the middle open. In the middle, put a smoker for an exhaust and then surround it with acacia trap doors up here. Then we'll come down and start on the rear end. On the back middle, on the third block in, a column of five orange concrete, then a column of five here, and a column of five here. Then we're gonna fill in the rest of the side here, four high with orange concrete, all the way till it meets up at the front here. And we'll do the same thing on this side. Fill it all in, four high, with orange concrete, down to the rear end. Just like that. And actually we're gonna come on top up here on the back, in front of this back block, and we're gonna dig out a row of seven of the orange concrete coming forward off the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do the same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna come up the middle of this section with two layers of cobbled deep slate, right up to here. Then on the sides of the cobbled deep slate, we'll do two layers of iron bars. Same thing over here, two layers of iron bars on this side. Then in this top middle section, a full line of orange concrete on each side and a full line of black wool up the middle. Then we're gonna come to the back of here in this middle first cobble deep slate, make a plus shape of polished black stone slabs, then a second one and a third one. And those are for fans. Then up here, skip a block forward, open back to back, dark oak fence gates for the horn. Up here on each side of the cab, put two levers going into each other and start covering everywhere we haven't built anything on top with black wool. You'll have to crouch to put them on these shulker boxes. Come behind here and start filling all this in up here with black wool. come down and around these horns here and in between all these fans. Also put oak trap doors in those back three fan centers just like this. Then we're going to come on this side under this polished basalt section and we're going to make a three by four of orange stained glass panes for the blower. 
Then up here, we'll start filling this ledge with black carpet. Skip past the blower and bring black carpet down to the rear. Right here, we knock out this block, put in black wool. Then a T-shape of carpet on the end, two here, and come all the way up this side with the black carpet. Then one on each of these stairs. Then come up here, and we'll crouch, put black carpet on these two shulker boxes. Come around the corner, a T-shape on the front, around this corner, crouch, and two up here. Then we'll do the railings to so switch to an oak fence. Right here, come up by four. Here, come up three and over one. And then a two by two up here. Then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Up three right here, over one. And a two by two up here. Here we come up four. Then behind this, go back one, up one, and back three until it connects with the cap. Same thing on this side. Back one, up one, over three to connect with the cap. Then come down to the rear end. Here we come up by four. Here we come up by three, over one, two by two up here. Same thing on this side. So here come up three, over one, and a two by two up here. Here come up four. Then turn this way and start bringing vents all the way along the walkway up this side of the locomotive. When we get right here, we come up one, over one, up one, over two. Then one more side to go here. So come on over here. Connect it up back here and bring it all the way up this walkway. Come past the blower here and all the way up till it aligns with the cab. Just like that. Now we need to make banners, so come into a loom with a black banner and orange dye. Horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom, horizontal in the middle. Then we're going to do a new banner, except this time an orange banner with yellow dye. Put yellow on the right hand side. Then switch to black dye, horizontal on top, horizontal on bottom. Then we're going to repeat the process, except this time we're going to have the yellow on the other side. Then we're going to put an orange border around both of the banners that have the yellow on it. Then a new orange banner with gray dye, make the top half gray. Switch to orange dye and put an orange border around it. Then we'll come and start placing all of these banners. So the ones with gray go here and here on the front of the cab for windows, and one here on the back one on this side on the back. Then we're going to put three of these stripe banners like this at this level under the windows, three on the side here. Come up front, one here, one here, one here. Then two right here. Then four across here right under the windows. And continue it back, two here. We're going to have to crouch to place them on the side of these shocker boxes. So stand up here, crouch, one here, one here. Skip past the blower and keep bringing your stripes all the way to the back. Come around the back, one here, one here, and one here. Come around this side and bring them all the way up this side. And then same thing when you get up here, we're going to have to crouch on this railing here to place them on these shocker boxes. And then one more in front of it right there. Then these ones with the yellow are going to make our logo for us here. So we're going to come 
one block in front of where the horn is right here and put them back to back like that for a logo. And we'll do the same thing over here. One block in front of where the horn is and we need to put them so the yellow's on each outside back to back for the logo. Then we'll detail the front end, so come up here. On each side of these slabs down here, a glow item frame with glowstone for ditch lights. On the top middle, a glow item frame with glowstone for a headlight. To the left of it, a dark oak sign with our locomotive number, which is 5017, same thing on the other side. Then we're gonna hit these signs, both with white dye and a glow ink sack. Then we'll come down and we're gonna work on the rear end. Back here above the middle banner, a glow item frame with glowstone for the headlight. And if you want rear ditch lights, put one on each side of these slabs down here with glowstone in them. Then up here on each side above the banners, a dark oak sign with 5017 for the number plates back here. Hit those both with white dye and a glowing sack. Then put a ladder on the bottom of the left hand side and on the top. Then we're going to take out a chain, put a chain across here, come up front and do the same thing, a chain across here. Then we're going to take out a birch button, up here we're going to put two, and the same thing on this side, two up here. Then one here in front of the blower one here in front of it. Just like that. Come back here. One right here in front of the iron bars and one right here. Now we'll do the interior so come on in here with smooth stone slabs. We're gonna come right up the middle at the same height of this door till you get right here. Then raise it two blocks tall in this back metal. Then a full column up to the window here and here. On the sides, we'll raise our slabs up two blocks tall. Same thing over there. Then two slabs here and a single slab in front of it. Put a blast furnace down here, knock out this top middle orange block and put in glowstone. Then we'll put a stair on each side for seats. Turn around in this top middle, a glow item frame with a compass and a lever on the right for the engineer. Come down here, put an end portal in the end of the nose for a toilet and a door across. Then we're gonna come out and stand on the nose. We're gonna crouch, put a string over this toilet and in front of that door. Then put a line of black carpet up the middle over that side door and finish off the rest of the nose with black carpet here. And there we have it, folks. We've completed our Genesee in Wyoming SD50 locomotive. I hope you enjoyed the build here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.